In this video, I'll compare ActiveCampaign and MailerLite, sharing with you their biggest differences, the pros and the cons of each, so that you can decide which one is right for your business. I'm Jason, growth specialist at WildMail, where we help make ActiveCampaign even better for your base businesses. Let's dive in. So first, just to provide a little context before we go into the pros and cons of MailerLite versus ActiveCampaign. ActiveCampaign and MailerLite are both uh, platforms that are typically, you know, compared with one another when someone's looking for an email marketing platform, um, email marketing service. But in reality, uh, I would put ActiveCampaign in a category all of its own. Um, it is a category defining platform for uh, customer experience automation. We've got this video here that goes deeper into what that means, but we'll cover it uh, in just a few minutes a bit more briefly because it really is what makes the difference between ActiveCampaign and MailerLite. So, First, we can start off with the pros of MailerLite. Here's the homepage for MailerLite. And we've got the features. Uh, it's got email marketing, uh, automation, newsletter, website builder, landing page, etc. cetera. Uh, pretty, pretty simple uh, in terms of what it offers. And that is one of the pros. You know, it's simplistic and easy to use. The features are pretty uh, basic and straightforward. Uh, and it offers a free version of up to 1,000 contacts. It's really designed for those just starting out, right? Even though it's got, um, you know, a, um, a website builder, if you are investing money into your business, um, you know, even if you're a startup, but you have uh, funding, you're, you're not going to be building your website on MailerLite's platform. So um, those are kind of the cons. It's got a limited range of features and tools, like for its segmentation compared to ActiveCampaign. It's more of a basic autoresponder. It does allow you to do some automation, um, you know, but it, it has none of the CRM features that ActiveCampaign has, which we'll go over. And it's just not as robust of a, a tool as ActiveCampaign. Doesn't offer the same level of uh, personalization with the triggers for its automation. Doesn't have uh, a full CRM uh, for sales and deals that can incorporate your sales team. Uh, so if you have a sales team, that's that's going to be one of the key deciding factors because MailerLite is, is really more for just sending out uh, emails, newsletters, campaigns, etc. Uh, so it really may not be suitable for larger businesses with more complex marketing needs. Um, if you're just starting out and you're really mindful of like a tight budget or probably making decisions based more on that that smaller budget than like the, the value or the overall experience you want to create for your customers, you kind of just want to uh, use the platform to be able to get out emails, MailerLite might be for you. Uh, we'll give our recommendation at the end, but just something to consider. Now let's go into Active Campaign, and we can start with the cons. And you know, it, it's a pretty obvious one <laughs> based on what I shared here with MailerLite. MailerLite, quite simple, limited range of features and tools to, to get your head around. Um, pretty easy to use. On the other hand, active campaign, it may be overwhelming for smaller businesses or individuals who don't feel they need as many advanced features. Now, everyone needs the benefits of those advanced features, which is providing a better experience for your audience, for your customers, right? Everyone wants that goal. So what active campaign is capable of doing uh, is, you know, much more in that sense. Uh, the benefits are much more than, than what's possible with Miller Lite. You'll hit limitations as your business grows. Um, but it may seem difficult at first to achieve that without a bit of, you know, support, uh, and knowing what you're doing with the platform. So that's the, probably the main con uh, in comparison to MailerLite, but it's going to have more features and tools for segmenting and automating your marketing campaigns, plus automating internal tasks for your team. Uh, your customer support team can use this as I'll show you your sales team your marketing team. It's really going to break down the barriers between these teams and allow them to share information together and automate different aspects of their internal work as well as the customer journey. So um, the features, as I mentioned, are going to typically be better suited for larger businesses, and I'll go into that now. So here we are on the active campaign landing page. Their goal is really to help you treat every customer like your most important. Um, you know, that's it's all about creating a better customer experience with marketing automation. So instead of just automating your email, which is kind of what MailerLite's you know, limitations are, are set at, you can activate your entire customer experience and automate uh, things internally for your team, like I mentioned. So they start with these four pillars of customer experience automation, uh, orchestration. So don't replace Shopify, don't replace any of your other channels. Uh, you'll have SMS, you'll have Facebook, you'll be able to integrate directly with deep data integrations for e-com uh, stores like Shopify, uh, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, and then use that 
information, that data across different uh, platforms and channels to create a personalized experience, making use of all of the data at once. Part of that is going to be uh, done through segmentation. So again, MailerLite, uh, it's going to allow you to basically segment by larger groups, by cohorts. It's kind of the, the older way to do it. It's still better than nothing. Uh, but in ActiveCampaign, you can really get granular and segment by individuals, their behavior, their actions. You can see this here when they've ended automation, started automations, achieved certain goals, when they've opened emails, when they've clicked links in emails, when they visited pages on your website. I can show you this automation here, which is our behavior based pitching automation. Uh, and this is going to use lead scoring, not available on, on MailerLite. Um, this, we're adding points every time you know a, a contact engages with our business. And when they reach a certain level, a certain threshold, we're triggering this automation. And with this webhook here, we're actually going to send an email that looks like it came from one of our personal emails, so not a marketing email. Uh, it's going to be very personal and conversational. I'm basically saying, hey, we, we saw that you've uh, engaged a lot with our, with our brand. We'd love to jump on a quick call with you to see if Product X might be a good fit. And that happens when they reach a certain point of engagement with our business. And that's just one of the ways you can really enhance uh, the customer experience and create a personalized experience for your contacts. Uh, it's also impossible to keep track of all that data manually. And that's why in Active Campaign, if I go into the contacts, I pulled up this demo contact uh, for myself. This is all of the information that you get for each of your contacts. So information that they've shared with you. You get uh, data from Stripe if you're integrating with that. Tags like this here came from a Shopify store that I was interested in choose because I was browsing those products. Uh, I can see everything about the contact, their e-com data, you know, when you've uh, integrated it with Shopify, for example, Calendly events all pulled in directly with the proper uh, data type here in their account. It's all stored in one central spot, the recent activities as well, so that again, your sales team can see it, your support team can see it, uh, and your marketing team can see it. And there are really tight feedback loops between these teams to create a better experience for the, the customers. So that's uh, the segmentation pillar. Personalization, yeah, high, high name is just not true personalization. You can really get deeper in, in terms of personalization with uh, with Active Campaign, for example, with web personalization. You can show different versions of your website uh, based on how they're tagged. As you can see this here, you can show different information in emails. Uh, all of those custom fields that I showed you in the contact, this can all be used to personalize the uh, the copy. You can also show different content blocks, images, uh, discounts, etc., based on the user's tag. So when they receive an email, they'll only uh, see specific copy in a dynamic email. And it really allows you to yeah, replicate one-to-one -one personal experience for every customer, no matter how big your business gets, using that, that data in emails, on your website, etc. And finally, we come to automation. As I mentioned before, it's not just uh, busy work. You can, you can really automate different aspects of all of your team. So if I go back into the contact, you'll see here it says all deals. I can add a deal, add it to a specific pipeline. And this is the deals CRM. So before I showed you the contacts, which is just the general CRM with personal information for each contact, but the deal CRM is for those qualified uh, leads where we have a specific instance uh, that they've taken a, a certain action, they've entered our pipeline, and now we can manually move this, or I can automate their progress through the customer journey, through our pipeline, automate when the deal is won, lost, uh, automatically add notes and tasks. Uh, so if you if you have a sales team, this is going to be again one of the biggest factors that'll help you decide between the two platforms. Um, this this is uh, only possible with Active Campaign here. So just to recap the benefits of uh, Active Campaign and CXA customer experience automation, you'll have CXA for marketing, which will give you a uh, completely connected view of the contact and all of their engagement with your brand across the entire customer lifecycle. CXA for sales, uh, you'll have the pipeline here, so you'll be able to see all your interactions um, in the past with, with each contact, be able to build real, true, authentic relationships with them, uh, and enable your sales team with all of the data from their marketing uh, and support. And then lastly, for service or support, all of the account managers are going to uh, be able to have access to the data that sales and marketing has you know, input into that uh, contacts profile to use, to have at their disposal when they're supporting the customer, 
Uh, and so it's really helping the customer throughout the entire stage of their journey. Now, we're not going to go into every single feature that Active Campaign has versus Miller Lite. This was just to highlight the pros and cons and the major differences between the two. So just to wrap this up, uh, typically when comparing Active Campaign and Miller Lite, Active Campaign is generally the better option. If you see yourself wanting to create that hyper personalized experience, uh, you may want to opt for Active Campaign. If you're a small business or an individual, you're just starting out, uh, you're on a tight budget, you have to make decisions more for yourself versus your customers, um, or maybe you don't have any uh, contacts or customers yet, and you just need something to get out uh, emails, MailerLite may be a more affordable and suitable option for you. But here's what I would suggest. I would suggest that you start with a 14-day trial of Active Campaign just to see if it works for you. Uh, if you already have a list, you'll be able to use the, the different features with your existing contacts when you import them. You can do that through Active Campaign or through us at the link below. Uh, we'd be happy to help you out as you're going through that 14 day trial, answer any questions you have, uh, see if it'll truly be a good fit for you or not. And if not, you always have MailerLite there as one of your other options to send out emails. Uh, just knowing that, you know, as you grow, you may find yourself coming back around to check out a more all encompassing platform like Active Campaign. So if you have any questions about the difference between Active Campaign versus MailerLite, drop them in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer those for you.